What was it like as a kid? You were going through so much of this identity. I don't think crisis is the right word, but I did. It was identity, uh, finding out who you were, discovering who you are, and showing the world and going through different phases. What was it like as a child in the Lower East Side at that time? Every kid goes through an identity crisis. It's true. Every kid struggles to figure out who they are. No matter who you are, no matter I think how still, normal I'm you st are. I think I'm still struggling. Yeah, <laughs> everybody does. And no matter what category or bracket you fall into, everybody's just trying to figure out how to be comfortable with themselves. It just so happened that the things that I felt comfortable in, very, very, very few other people felt comfortable in or expressed that out loud. So it was a very isolating experience to grow up the way that I did. Um, it, you know, my mom and I didn't have a house. We didn't have electricity a lot of the times, and there wasn't a lot of food around. So there would, weren't the opportunities for socializing or an environment for socializing that were maybe available to other kids. We'd have play dates or have people over to their house without their parents being like, whoa, that's a crazy house. Um, so I spent a lot of time alone, and I spent a lot of time wandering around New York City, which on the one hand is very... Like, you know, but on the other hand, is is gave me exposure to every different type Grows of you up. being. Grows you up quickly. It's New Yorkers, you know, Native Grows New York kids, up. we do it all way too early, which you can read about in the book <laughs> if you want to. Um, but New York in the 80s and 90s is the foundation of who I am because it's this foundational notion that there are every different type of human being in a very enclosed environment. You know, Manhattan's only so wide, so we're all right there, and it, it gave me this kind of sense that everyone is actually interesting. Not just equal, but like interesting and worth getting to know and worth talking to the like African guys selling $5 hats on Broadway, you know? <laughs> so that's the world that I came up in, and I also was very fortunate in the sense that my parents weren't oppressive about my gender stuff or my sexuality or any way that I expressed myself. My parents were like, cool, you know, great, yes, we back this, you know. So I'm, I'm very, very fortunate on that front and not so fortunate on other kind of basic provisions fronts, but like, that's all relative, you know. My, me not having electricity on a Tuesday is just as damaging to me as, you know, somebody's mom not bringing them hot chocolate after their soccer practice on a Friday. It's like, Everybody has their, I don't see myself as a victim.